Um, today we're going to be playing more uh, Tales of Vesperia. Um, this is part 52 of the playthrough, technically. Um, uh, I did some grinding uh, in between my last streams. Um, got the dog map pretty much as completed as I can get it. Um, what else did I do? Um, anyways, I wanted, um, Sunday was busy, of course. Um, we had stuff with in-laws, uh, it was Game of Thrones Day, uh, so I didn't have time to record, but I really wanted to play Tales of Vesperia, so, um, anyways, I got some stuff done. Um, I did do, uh, I went to the Miorzo, uh, just to see if that, uh, dragon or if I could play the dragon game and I could. So I did that without recording it, which was fine because it took me like 10 tries to complete um, course three. Um, but then like course five, like I got it done like that. So um, I think I can do something here. Ah, perfect. So we're gonna start it off. We're not gonna do Nordopolica just yet. Um, we're gonna start it off uh, with this. So, well now, if it isn't the Brave P Pizzeria, it's Brave Vesperia? You're gonna have to forgive me. Never been very good with names. Here for more work. Uh, yes, we're looking for a job. So you're up to it, huh? Well, let's see here. Oh, right. There is that one thing. Hmm. Something the matter? Nah, it's just that this one comes as a direct request from the Union itself. Does that mean it's a tough job? Not necessarily. More like the client isn't too familiar with the way the Union and the guilds work. I wish to be put in contact with a certain guild, Mimula. Why did the Union pass this job to you? The person approached the Union directly about getting hold of this guild they mention here. And the Union isn't a matchmaking service for guilds and their potential clients. Then why is the job being posted here? Because we're in the business of lending a hand to newer guilds that can't find work on their own yet. Heh, <laughs> so that's what's up. Well, what do you think? Should we take on the job? What do you mean by certain guild? That's something only the guild that takes the job gets to know, I'm afraid. The reward is 6,000 gold. Will you take it? Well, it seems to be our highest paying job offer yet, so... The client for this job isn't exactly nearby, are you up to it? <laughs> we fly wherever we want to fly. Where are they? The Imperial Capital of Zapius. Excuse me, uh, that means... This Mimu Mimula isn't somebody you know, is it, Yuri? No, not a name I've heard before. Yeah, sure, Yuri, we believe you. Even repeats, like, come on, Yuri. Maybe a more recent arrival? Um, well, might as well have a look with Baul's help. It'll, well, might as well have a look with Baul's help. It's just a short flight away. Sorry, I just have to change something up a little bit here. If it'll let me... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay, good enough. Um, well, we might... Oh, okay, I already read that. Oof. All right, let's go. Okay, dope. Uh, I don't think I've gotten any new titles. Um, hmm. Sorry, I'm just wondering something, because... I really hope the audio on here isn't skipping because the I'm listening to like the audio on the microphone and it's skipping a lot. I really hope it isn't skipping on the video because I thought I found myself a nice little um, way to not have shitty audio for once. Hmm. Okay. Okay, well, on here. Uh, no, 
it doesn't matter. I wouldn't be able to test that out. Okay, never mind. Uh, so we did that. Now we just have to head over to uh, Zapius. Which is just a hop, skip, and a jump for us. Take us longer to get out of the city than it does to get to Dongrest. Or it's obvious, whatever. Um, and then I believe we have to meet her in the lower quarter. I got my co-star Weasley with me here today, but he's just out of sight because he's shy. He doesn't like uh, to be on camera at all. And even though he's a dog, it's like he instantly knows. Um, ooh, this seems to be separate. I better talk to LeBlanc. You there, it's curtains for you. Oh wait, we're in the middle of carrying out a secret, I say secret mission. Atacor, our investigations of anti-imperial activity are strictly confidential. You might want to reacquaint your boys here with the meaning of the word secret. Idiots! Beg, I say. Beg your pardon, sir. Apologies, sir. What did I do to deserve this? As you see, I've got no time for small talk with the likes of you. What's the deal? Those something I can't read causing problems for you again? Yes, sir, Captain Raven, sir. They're up to more mischief than ever before. I say, we've had reports of them slinking and sneaking around the lower quarter. Well then, I'm sure you'll get the job done. Good luck to you. I never dreamed we'd receive the praise of the Princess of the Capital in person. Thank you for this gracious kindness. The extremists, huh? Those are the guys who plant bombs, hurt people, and put the town in a general state of panic, right? The very ones. We hadn't heard much from them for a while, but it sounds like they're up to their old tricks again. Are there really people who do things like that? <sighs> yeah, I can understand that they aren't thrilled with the Empire, but they've got no right involving innocent people. Unlike the guilds, they're a pretty disorganized bunch. People with chips on their shoulders tend to be that way. It makes it hard to put a stop to them once and for all. Well, it isn't like we have any clues ourselves. Shouldn't we just leave it to the knights? But we can't help but stick our nose into everybody's business, is what we do. You can count on us, your highness, sir. Okay. So it is related. I'm glad I went and talked to him first. Um, I could be wrong. I think she's in here, though. Yes, she is. Okay. Mimula. Are you Mimula? Yes! Voiced scene, and this is supposedly the correct pronunciation of her name, Mimula. That's right. And just who might you be? We're Brave Vesperia, the guild who took the job you posted with the Union. Ooh. It's about time. I will, of course, dock your pay for all the waiting you've made me do. What a bitch. What? That's not fair! Is this indecent young lady part of your brave... whatever you call it as well? Do you have a problem with how I'm dressed? It's your reputation. Now, are you serious about taking the job? I don't know. I don't think we work very well with bitches, Well, but... what does it involve? I haven't seen my butler, Sebastian, since he left to negotiate with a certain guild. I'd like to get some word from him, but nobody seems willing to go for me. Have you considered going yourself? It would make a lovely day trip, I'm sure. <laughs> <sighs> this is no time for jokes. I have no interest in going any place that vile. Now, um... Oh, never mind. I won't say anything. I won't spoil anything. Which is where we come in, right? I like to spoil things, but... But I don't, because then I feel bad after. Naturally, the commoners must heed the words of the nobility. So what's a high and mighty noble like you doing in the lower quarter? Well, I... you see... Oh. How rude! And what Sorry. guild are you talking about? They are called Leviathan's Claw. Of course they are. Leviathan's... You are to find out first if Sebastian is safe, and second, how the negotiations have gone. What was he supposed to negotiate? That is none of your concern. 
Yeah, it's not, but we don't need any extra hassle. So basically, you'd like us to bring this Sebastian back to you. That's right. If we're dealing with Leviathan's Claw, I guess we're off to the Manor of the Wicked. Oh, hey, back to where we just were. Just what kind of dangerous hobbies are you people into? Ugh. I thought I told you it was none of your business. You need only concern yourselves with the work I've hired you to do. Such emotion is unbecoming of your ladyship. <laughs> I hear you, Repeat. Let's get going. Oh, Repeat. Right. We accept this task in the name of the brightest star in the night sky. Brave Vesperia! What? Is that your little slogan? Please. What a bitch. We can't possibly understand the refined tastes of such an elegant lady, Carol. <laughs> oh, how dare you make fun of me! I won't stand for it. <laughs> I think you just did. Okay, so she left. Off we go. And we're gonna head um, back up this way. Sorry, dog. Ooh, I really hope that's not the audio that's coming through on um, uh, on uh, your guys' end because that's so horribly crackly. I mean, I can handle it, but nobody wants to like s listen to that. Um, okay, anyways, we want to head over to the Manor of the Wicked. Mm, oh, dungeon, sorry. Manner of the Wicked. Okay. I'm actually just going to pause it for a second. And come on, Weasley, you got to go. Uh, I just want to grab some headsets and see if the audio is crackling. Because if it is, I need better headphones. Okay. Awesome. Let's get these plugged in. <clears throat> Easier said than done. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, let's just take a second. I was so excited because I thought I'd had this all taken care of, but I was totally wrong, so that's okay. Um, the right ear in. Okay, alright, so. On we go. I'm going to turn this up a little bit. Sorry about that. Uh, so we're over at the Manor of the Wicked, and we are going to head in here. Of course, this isn't going to be voiced. Hey, you guys are brave Vesperia. How nice of you to remember. Oh, that's Yuri. I'm not very good. I would not make a good uh, audiobook. Uh, <laughs> reader, whatever they're called, voice actor. Um, the boss isn't here anymore. Yeah, no reason for you to come sniffing around here anymore. Anybody named Sebastian come here lately? Hm, never heard of him. Wait, you know as well as I do. We've got no idea what to do with that guy. Then he is here. We kept him here under house arrest while Jaeger was still with, with us. But to tell the truth, he's getting to be a waste of space these days. What are you saying? You're talking to Jaeger's killers. Jaeger is dead and gone. We're going to have to face facts sooner or later. But there's a condition. Condition? 
we're trying to start an alliance with a guild called the Soulsmiths. Why would you want to do anything to help a bunch of arms smugglers? Why would we? Go ahead, try to force your way in then. Alrighty, let's play nice now. <laughs> we need weapons to defend ourselves against the monsters, don't we? Without Jaeger, it's all we can do to survive out here. The Soulsmiths. Have you heard of them? Who hasn't? They're one of the Master Guilds. Of course I know them. They're one of the five Master Guilds, and they specialize in blacksmithing. But unlike the others, they keep pretty much themselves. They built a forge deep inside a mountain, and they still live there, tucked away from the world. That's it. We need somebody to find them for us. You want us to check every mountain on the planet? Yeah, right. Who said old Raven didn't have at least a hunch up his sleeve, huh? No way. Heh. <laughs> Leave it to the number two guy in the union. Guess this is a father knows best situation. Don't tell me you forgot your first client. You already? He might be a good he might be good to chat with. That guy. Would this face ever lie to you? I'm I'm pretty sure it has like quite a few times. <laughs> Uh, so, if we get a hold of these soulsmiths for you, you'll let the butler go? Don't see why we couldn't. Alright. So now we go back to Mantake uh, to find you. But I want to fight something. Oh. Except I'm Rita, so I really shouldn't just like run into battle. I also have to move my uh, uh, controller away from the mic. It's so funny. So we, uh, uh, our in-laws stopped by, or our in-laws, my in-laws stopped by unexpectedly yesterday like we were gonna have lunch with them but they finished shopping earlier than they thought so they were just like over all of a sudden and <laughs> my uh, father-in-law was just like what because i've taken over the living room uh, to stream <laughs> and it's just like such a mess in here now um, that's okay. <laughs> he was like, a, he'd forgotten I was screaming, so. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Look how funny, you can't sniff that. Uh, so, uh, the sound is sounding pretty good to me, but I don't have the other. Maybe I should see if I can hear skipping in this one to see how it sounds on there. Okay. Alright. Come on, buddy. So let's go fight something else. Keep your eyes on my sword. Alright. And I'm gonna try and be quiet. Man, take. Hmm. 
Okay, is you just gonna be standing around for us? Probably not. Let's check the inn. I don't think I have, like, the steps to this written down everywhere. Anywhere. I could try going to, oops um Torum hmm. I mean thankfully there aren't like too many cities to choose from Sorry, I'm just, I've got like a guide open. I'm just trying to find out if... Um. Oh, okay, that's the Leviathan's Claw part. Okay, that's great. It tells me, like, the scene, but not where you is. Alright, well, whatever. Let's run around for a little bit and see if we can't find him. So he's not in Mantake. He's not in Torum. I guess we'll check Nor. Lots of random people just standing about looking like they've got something for me, but. Oh, no, that's a chick. And to be completely honest, I'm not even 100% sure I remember what you looks like. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't look like anybody's on the bridge. No, I don't think he'd be in Nordopolica. So, let's see here. I guess I could try Dongress. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm finally getting some more crackles on my end. Oh, perfect, there he is. And I'm not hearing it on the headphone in my other ear. So hopefully we're okay. I guess we'll find out during this. Oh, it's not voiced. Ah, uh, hello. Ah, if this isn't, isn't my faithful delivery guild. This may be a bit abrupt, but are you with the Soulsmiths? Soulsmiths? Oh, you mean the Blacksmith Guild? No, I'm afraid I have nothing to do with them. Um, Raven? That book these guys delivered for you. That's no ordinary book now, is it? There were guild codes written in there. You mean you looked inside it? And wait, you can read codes? Guild code guild codes used to be a way for the guilds to communicate with each other in secret. Ha, pretty clever. And the soulsmith's about the only guild still using them at this point. Dealing in weapons carefully has always been our guild's motto. Those who make the best weapons must always be neutral. So then you are one of the smiths. Which would make that nobis who picked up the book who picked the book up a member as well. It would seem the jig is up, as they, the jig is, as they say, up. Um, Leviathan's Claw wants to get in touch with you. Oh, do they? Our boss never had much stomach for Jaeger's unpredictability. Ah, then. But I hear the man is dead now. Perhaps a change is on the wind. It would be at least worth making contact with them. Whoa, we've got to get that written down. They'll want some sort of proof we actually met one of the soulsmiths. If I must, I suppose. Here you are. This signature represents the will of my guild. When coupled with our guild's reputation, it should be sufficient. Then we should be getting back to the manner of the wicked. Okay, let's go. Uh, it is just right over yonder, so we might as well just fly there. Come on, move those feet. Groan. <laughs> hey, is that Sebastian? We've come with news about the soul spits, so let Mr. Sebastian go, okay? Huh? Do I know you? We had a deal here. No clue what you're talking about. They're just toying with us. But you said that if we made contact with the Soulsmiths, you'd let Mr. Sebastian go. Oh, you must mean the guy who was here with me. What? Who was here with me. There's only one thing that happens to losers like him in Leviathan's Claw. Then you... Okay, this guy's gotta go. Watch that lip, boy. Let's see what you've got. Oh, okay, you're about to get your ass kicked. So Bring it. Okay, I, I'm pretty convinced that the sound is okay, and not picking up uh, the yeah. So I think I can finally stop listening to two different. <laughs> Drive me nuts. Ah, oh, all of them miss? You thought you could win? Perfect. Too bad. Oh, good God. All right, no more of that. And that is much better. Okay. Hang in there, how do you feel? Who are all of you? We're Brave Vesperia! You're Sebastian? 
the very same, but how did you... Your employer asked that we come and pick you up. My lady sent you? How very fortu fortu... I totally skipped too fast and apparently can't speak the English language. Fortuitous. <laughs> Here I am. Whoa, hold on. What's with the luggage? Excuse me. Oh, just something I nearly forgot. That's a pretty big something. Honestly, pay it no mind. Well, I do owe you my thanks. Woof! Yeah, I smell fish too, boy. We're under no obligation to interfere in everything that seems a bit off, are we? Well, we're under no obligation to, but that doesn't mean that we don't like to. <laughs> I wonder. They do say the customer's always right, but... At any rate, let's go collect our reward from our favorite noblewoman. Yeah. And I am just gonna try leaving and coming right back in. And... Seeing what happens when I go inside. Apparently nothing... Too early, I think, to get any letters of challenge from here. So we'll just sneak right back out. <laughs> okay, and uh. Now we want to head to uh, the capital. Oh, relax, Weasley. He'll be right back. Okay. So I imagine somewhere around here we should either find LeBlanc or um, Mutzertitz. Has she just been, like, hanging out in this bar the whole time? Just waiting? Okay, good. Gasp! You're... Shh! Thanks to the confusion caused by the motley crew you sent to my rescue, I was able to make off with quite a haul. Well done, Sebastian, my dear. At last I'll teach those imperial idiots a lesson for daring to look down on my family. You do have to give Leviathan's Claw some credit, though. They've really got a nice collection of weapons. This should also please those excitable extremists. With us on their side, it'll be a new day dawning for this empire. <laughs> and with the coming sun, this flower of no the nobility shall bloom once again. Those grimy-faced commoners won't know what hit him. They want to overthrow the empire. You said once that the Empire is the one who makes their noble ranks official, right? So if they get rid of the Empire, she won't be a noble anymore. Perhaps she has eyes for the throne herself. So what do you propose doing about it? Once hired, a guild's pretty much limited to doing the job and collecting a paycheck. But do we just pretend we didn't hear their plans to stage a coup? Not to worry, princess. Those extremists won't amount to much trouble at all. They'll cause a bit of panic if they're lucky, and then the knights will come down on them. Do you really think so? Why not just pick up your reward and skedaddle? Sure, it's all right for a former knight captain to say that sort of thing. Hey, you're looking at a strict util ut <laughs> utilitarian here. Well, we shouldn't waste any time reporting this to the knights. What do you think, Chief? Oh, he's gone from Captain to Chief now? I'm at a loss. Well, quite clearly, uh, we're going to do something about it. Since LeBlanc is back here and we just can't help ourselves. Yuri Roll! Here now! Don't I say, don't interfere in our duties! You'd better not keep us from keeping watch! Pipe down, you two! You can always count on Tweedle A and B for a laugh. I say, what did you say? 
Don't you have something better to do than stand around harassing public servants? You got it all wrong. We found some people helping out the extremists. Thought you might want to know. You what? I say, this is of utmost importance. Off we go, Atacor. Halt. Where did you say they were? Check the alley next to the inn. I say, this time it's really important. Here we go again. Sorry about earlier. Thanks for the help, maybe? Forget it. Make me proud, knights. Yes, sir, I imagine. Oh, no, he didn't say it, but you know he was thinking it. Release me! I am a noble! How dare you, knights! So, did we do the right thing? So, now it's voiced? I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Come on. Sure we did. Who knows what kind of mess they'd cause if we just left them alone. And how come Patty's not hanging around with us? I mean, I guess it's because they didn't want to bother adding her in, but... Gotta say, though, it goes against the Guild Code of Conduct to tell secrets you find out when you're on a job. Really? You gotta keep quiet about any dirt you find out during a job for your client. Wow, old man, sense. that's Come actually here, we... honorable. It is. Guild's gotta turn a blind eye to stuff their clients do, no matter how bad. Besides, sticking your nose into the client's business isn't gonna earn you any extra dough. I guess you're right, but... Take the pay you got for this job, for example. I don't know about just doing the work, getting paid, and leaving it at that. <laughs> You're yeah, too nosy for like that. like last time. Right. We did exactly what the client asked, and look how badly that turned out. Which reminds me, <laughs> have you figured out what this whole brave Vesperia thing is for yet? We just do what we do when we want to do it. So is it for the that. money? Because you like it? What? We... Do justice, right? <laughs> yes, Brave Asperia does what its members feel is right. <laughs> Even if that doesn't always make money like Raven was talking about. I, I mean, for now, we'll still do jobs that pay, of course. Oh, looks like I did miss a part. I don't think... Oh, shit, I missed the part where I got paid. <laughs> So that's what Brave Vesperia does. Oh well, I don't need the money. <laughs> Not sure how much that actually cleared up, but... You guys sure you're alright with that? Being... We never expected it to be. And even if it was, that wouldn't change how we feel. <laughs> yeah, we'll do things our own way. Yeah. Huh, listen to this kid. <laughs> what? I think it sounds great. So Fair that's enough. where things stand, old man. Brave Asperia. We do what we want no, when we kids. want. You'll probably find a way to pull it off. Of course. <laughs> Okie dokes. Uh, so that's that. Um. Okay, I'm just seeing. Nine, ten. Okay, so now we want to go back to um, Dawngrest. What am I doing? Oh my goodness. Uh, Dawngrest. Going on this side. Okay, and now we'll just head back to the Sagittarius Inn uh, to get our last job, I believe. Oh, or just, you know, run into a wall, that's fine. I do that in real life too, so why wouldn't I do it in video games? <laughs> okay. What's up, Brave Vesperia? Looks like you finally remembered who we are. Well, of course I have. Got something here with your name on it, after all. What? 
He made it... I, okay, it appeared to me like he was going to get us a big box, and it's just this tiny letter. Don't get too excited now. It's from one of the lieutenants in the Imperial Knights. I wonder what it could be. Huh? Who's it from? Oh, yeah, there is a note attached. Let's see. Dear Brave Vesperia, we hope this finds you succeeding in all your ventures. Skip that part. What do they want? Uh, okay. Thank you for your cooperation in the recent arrest of anti-Empire elements. Do in part to your aid. A plot to overthrow the government was averted. Financial compensation of any guild by the Imperial Knights is strictly forbidden. On behalf of myself and my two subordinates, however, I humbly offer you our heartfelt thanks. I look forward to our to future cooperation between our parties. Good fortune and good health, LeBlanc. My, how gentle, my, my, how gentlemanly. <laughs> uh, back from the job we did for Mimula, I guess this will have to take the place of payment for that job. It's none of my business, but it's a pretty big deal for the Knights to send anything like this to Dongress. There are folks around here who'd rather not draw the Empire's attention. Do make sure and watch yourselves. No worries, it's not like that. Feels pretty nice to finally get some recognition for our hard work, huh, Yuri? Yeah, let's hope we can keep this up. Oh, good, I still get my money. <laughs> Woo, I just missed a scene. But that's okay, because on the next playthrough, I'll have... Well, on the Speedster playthrough I'm doing, um, I got the unlock all skips, so I can just sit there and watch them all and get the... Um, uh, what's its nuts? Um, achievement, then. Okay. So what comes after this? Oh, maybe we can talk to him again? Ah, we can! Okay, good. Well, if it isn't my favorite guild, you guys have been keeping busy lately. You're bound to start getting offers on your own before long, I'd wager. Here to find a job? Yes. Well, how does this sound? I've forgotten something terribly important. Please go and fetch it. Markham of Runesgate. An absent-minded client. Hmm. Sounds right up our alley. Seriously, can't he just go get his own stuff? There must be some sort of extenuating circumstances. Yeah, there's gotta be. Plus, this would be an official job. A job request from Rune's Gate. They're the ones behind that trouble at the Coliseum. We fell completely for Jaeger's act. Don't remind me about stuff like that, old man. Um, but we defeated Jaeger, so... So things should be okay now, right? I hope so. Got your game plan set. Payment set at 5,500 gold. How about it? I thought we already accepted the job. If I had to put my money on it, I'd say any Ruinsgate people would be at Union's headquarters. They'll fill you in on the nitty-gritty. That's it. So away we go. And um, I think after this, we're coming to the end of the... Um, like, uh, YouTube portion of the stream. Um, end of part 51. Uh, so I'll just go talk to these people since they're here, and then we can start off um, with the uh, dungeon that we have to go to to get it back. Okay, so they're just right over here. Hi, um, we're looking for Mr. Markham. I'm Markham. Mark. It's you-know-who that request you posted? What? Have we met? I'm Mark's friend Joshua. You're here because of my little want ad with the Union? Yep, that's us. We'd like to hear a little more about it. It was the last time I went to the excavation site. Believe it or not, I forgot my shovel there. I'd like, to, I'd like for you to go and get it for me. Did you say shovel? That's right, shovel. They're also called trowels, or spades, sometimes. That's it. What do you mean, that's it? This is no trifling matter. Have some respect. Now, Mark, calm down. Calm down? He just missed our precious tool of the trade as if it were nothing. I heard it, too. But you've got to take some deep breaths now. If it's so precious to you, why'd you go and forget it in the first place? Er, 
Well, you see, he was set upon by monsters and forced to leave it behind. He wept the whole way back. Of course, we'd love to go get it ourselves, but without some help, there's no way. Why not cut your losses and buy a new one? If you can afford to pay us, it sounds like an easier fix to me. Do you know what you're saying? If a tool doesn't fit the hand just so, it's impossible to get any real work done. It's just a shovel, but it's far more than a shovel. This makes no sense. Without my shovel, I've got no job, please. Okay then, we'll do it. Uh, you can't always pick and choose the work that comes your way. Oh, heh <laughs> think so? Anyways, I think we told him he's acting like a boss again. Don't go heaping too much praise on him, it'll go straight to his head. By the name of Brave Asperia, the brightest star on the canvas of the night sky, we accept this task. That sounds different. The place is the Temple of Bactian on the Hyponian continent. I'm depending on you. Of course it would have to be there. Uh, what part of the temple? As I recall, I headed to the northern side as soon as I got underground. I went one floor deeper and I remember checking out the area around there. So we're on second bottom. It's a little vague, but it's good enough for me. Also, you can tell it's mine by the name on the handle. We'll just have to go with those clues then. Okay. That's all we got from them. Um, so thanks so much for watching um, part 52. Is it part 52? Yeah, I think it's part 52. Okay. Yeah, part 52 of the playthrough. Uh, and I hope very much that you will join me for part 53, where we will continue the... Um, um, derp, derp. Uh, guild side quest and we will also be um, hopefully going to Nordopolica like we were supposed to today. Thank you so much and have a great night.